Lieutenant Total War here, and today I've decided to do the single player tutorial for Medieval 2 Total War. Not that I really need to learn how to play the game, it's just a case of I haven't done... It's, it's got like a tiny little campaign, the Norman Conquest, and I just thought, fuck it, let's do it. So the first thing we're going to do is the Battle of Hastings. Now, just before we get into this, just so you guys are forewarned, the, the, uh, the tutorials here will hold my hand through every step of this little thing. And if you can't bear that kind of stuff, then this isn't the video for you. In addition to that, there is a bug with the Norman Conquest campaign. And whilst there is information out there on the internet on how to fix it, I will show it how to fix it in this video, because it's bugged. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, let's, let's get into this. Following the death of Edward the Confessor, England fell into a bitter power struggle. Harold Godwinson was quick to seize power, though the King of Norway, Harold Hardrada, felt the land his birthright. However, the late Edward had promised the throne to William, the Duke of Normandy, who, with the blessing of the Pope, readied his army for conquest. Father, word from England. Hardrada lies dead and his army defeated. What of Harold Godwinson? His victory at Stamford Bridge has strengthened his hold on the throne. Even now, he musters his forces. Perhaps it is time. Then what shall I tell the troops is your command? Tell them we sail for England and conquest. swept across the channel like a mighty tide, landing at Pevensey and amassing to confront Harold's approaching horde at Hastings. This titanic clash would be the decisive battle for the future of the English throne. Son, remember this day, and remember this moment, for after this battle, these lands will be ours. And rightfully so, Father. It is time. His men are ragged from the journey. Very well. Rufus, prepare your men for battle. But so is this him this we're doing this more for the cinematic Hastings, experience, I suppose. Ten sixty-six. The Saxon King Harold takes up a strong defensive position on Caldbeck Hill. His men form the legendary Saxon Shield Wall, blocking the road to London and forcing a frontal attack from the Normans. William waits patiently with ranks of archers, infantry, and cavalry, ready to launch a three-waved attack. He has archers to weaken the shield wall from afar. Spearmen to engage the enemy in close combat. and cavalry to drive through the enemy and run down deserters. William gives his order for the first wave. Fissiles, attack! His archers raise their bows and fire into the shield wall. Battle for the English throne begins. Units, move out! 
William's favored son, Rufus, moves into position to guard the rear of the Norman army and awaits his father's call to battle. Well met, Commander. I am Sir Robert, your military advisor. I will watch your actions on the battlefield and guide you to glory. Follow my instructions and we will crush these Saxon dogs. Your father, Duke William, wishes your troops to guard the rear of his army and wait for his call to battle. Keep a watchful eye for any Saxons that hope to ambush our army. This is Rufus, your general on the battlefield. He is accompanied by an entourage of the finest Norman knights. Left click on his unit to select them now. Uh, which one's the left click? Your general is your most important unit. He commands your armies on the battlefield, giving them strength and courage to fight. When he is lost, your battle is lost. Remember, you must keep Rufus alive to conquer the Saxons. You can move your armies around by right-clicking where you want them to go. Right-click on the highlighted area to move Rufus there. You will notice that your general has moved, but your view has not. Use the number pad on the keyboard to move your view of the battlefield. Five and two will move it forward and back. Four and six will move it sideways. Shut up. You can zoom in and out and tilt your view. The There's only so much I can take of it. Double left clicking on it. Go away. To get your unit somewhere quickly. Double right. It's just, it's just, yeah. Let's just move on to the actual battle. Like I don't need to know this stuff. You can change your unit. Go away. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I, I just get so bored listening to it. All right. Sometimes it is necessary to run on the battlefield. However, making your troops run too often will tire them out. Come on, let's get on with it. You can press the stop. There's only so much hand holding I can handle, you know. It's just it's, it's just too much. You can easily Like if you want to learn how to play a Total War game, just play a Total War game. They're really not that complex. I suppose we need to take a certain amount of time to do that while these guys here get set up. Come on. So now what does he want us to do? Are selected and awaiting your orders, move them to the highlighted area. No, just let me. I don't want him to tell me what to do. Just. Ugh, I know it's a tutorial. Why did, why did I decide you to do this? Order your units to move into formation by holding down the right mouse button. Each of your units proudly. You can easily deselect your selected unit. Some Saxon reinforcements. Okay, just let me handle it. You just leave me alone. Don't babysit me during this, okay? Don't hold my hand. God, it's bad enough when you guys are just giving me comments and tell me how to do stuff. I'm just like, come on. I know what I'm doing. Move your mask. And everyone makes mistakes from now and again, but I'm very much aware when I make a mistake, you don't need to point it out. Sometimes people point out mistakes that aren't actually mistakes either. Your armored sergeants are your best melee fighters. Alright, cool. 
while that's going on, have the cavalry go and take out those peasants. Oh man, I really want to speed things up. I'm used to fighting battles at six times speed. Like, when things are at the thick of it. called for you to join the main battle. The end of the battle is at hand and the next few moments will determine the fate of England. First, you need to move your army into the main battle. Okay, you've already told me how to move things, so let me do it. ordered your troops to move a long distance, you can increase the game speed to get them into position faster. Set the battle to the highest speed now. When your troops are nearing their destination, press the slower button twice to return the battle to normal speed. Otherwise, William has given the order for your troops to fall into line with the rest of the Norman army. First, order your archers into the front row. Now, order your spearmen to move into the second row. Then, move your cavalry into the third row. Now, order your general to fall in behind your troops. What if the I want to do it the other way around? Now, pause. Now is a good time to use the speed controls to move your troops into position faster. Set the battle to the higher speed now and back to normal speed when they're almost in position. Some of William's army have broken away and are fleeing. Units rot on the battlefield when their morale becomes very low. Morale decreases when units become tired, when their chance of success is low, or if the general dies. The Saxon peasants have broken rank and are charging at us. They have seen our fleeing men and have made themselves vulnerable. Now is the time to attack. William has ordered all archers to fire at the approaching peasants. Select your archers and fire at the nearest peasants. I almost don't want to do it just to spite the motherfucker. But it is the right thing to do, tactically. Your fine Norman archers will make short work of these peasants. Use your archers to fire on enemies as they approach. But remember, not to engage them in melee. Now run your armored sergeants in to finish off those peasants. They're These really spearmen are highly skilled in melee and are well suited to close combat. Remember, without the peasants, the Saxon shield King Harold has been caught by an arrow. The Saxon king is slain. His no, men not. have lost hope and they are fleeing. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. He's not dead. Use your cavalry to chase down the routing troops. Your cavalry are fast and will catch the infantry easily. The fewer men you leave alive, the fewer you will have to deal with later. Okay, let's get up here and start shooting these Huskarls. The small map on the bottom left of the screen shows the location of all the units in the battle. You can use this map to easily locate your men and the enemy. Your units agree. Under attack! Harold's most brave and loyal troops, his Huskarls, are still standing to fight. Help William finish them off and be done with this bloody day. Okay. So sending the armored sergeants into the thanes. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. 
Just, yeah, just run down as many of these guys as you can. Uh, I don't think it's reflected on the on the campaign map though. Makes our stats look better. Only half the enemy force remains. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. I thought the general was dead. Break the spirit of his army. So I think you yeah, just about run all those guys down, so by the grace of God, our foe is utterly vanquished. Bravo, my lord. You have slain King Harold and no, we sent didn't. these Saxons running for their worthless. Anyway, that's that's the battle side of things. Now we do the Norman Conquest, and now this is where the bug comes in, but there's a way around it. Greetings, sire. I am Lady Gwendolyn. I will guide you on expanding and managing your empire. Your Normans achieved a mighty victory at Hastings. Now you must lead William the Conqueror to claim the English throne. Follow my instructions and we will lead the Normans to glory. To continue, left-click on my portrait. You are now viewing England on the campaign map. Here you will build cities, raise armies, and move them to attack your enemies. Parts of the map you have not yet explored are shrouded in darkness. As you move your armies further afield, more of the map will be revealed to you. You can move your view of the campaign map with the key. You will notice that you cannot move past England. You are restricted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The campaign progresses. Yeah, we know that. Rufus is one of your generals and son of William. The high Here's where the bug comes in. Around your army shows where they can move this now, King Harold's still there. Now, I don't know if right it's if it's scripted that he's he's right in there or if we had killed him in the Norman in the Battle of Hastings if he would actually not be there. I don't know. Yes, I It didn't let us have the option to run him down. Of course, when he was hit by the arrow, he didn't get killed. The screen gives you a yeah, yeah. Okay. Hail my king. The character cards in the bottom panel. This scroll shows you the details of your... Yes, thank you very much. A rebel army has appeared near Khan. Khan is undefended, and you will need to reinforce it quickly, or you will lose it. William the Conqueror's next goal is to take over England. Before you do this, you will need to move Rufus back to Normandy to fortify Khan. Select Rufus and right-click on the nearby fleet to board it. This is where the bug comes in. You can't actually do it because of the zone of control. But if you move the ship around, there's a few areas here. If you just run its movement out, you can end the turn. See, other areas are restricted. You can't get him on the boat. It is a new turn and season in your campaign. Your treasury has been updated, your armies and characters have rested, and your rivals have made their moves. It is now your turn to make your next moves to carry out your strategy. The boxes that slide down the left of the screen are in... Okay, so... Hail my king! We still have to do all this stuff. ...has a character card shown on the bottom panel of the screen. If you click the army tab on this panel, you will see the units that are present aboard your fleet. You can move your fleet by right-clicking anywhere in the highlighted zone. Right-clicking on the coast will disembark your army. Right-click on Norman. Now that your army has disembarked, select Rufus and right-click on Khan to move him into the settlement. Your next goal is to lead William the Conqueror to take England's capital, London. Select William and right-click on London to attack. It is then, sire. Before you can siege a settlement, you must build siege equipment. Left click on the ram to add it to the queue. Then click the... Your siege equipment takes time to build. 
end your turn, and you will be able to attack the settlement next turn. Your siege equipment is now completed, and you can attack the settlement. Select William and right-click on London. Left-click the assault button to besiege the settlement. This scroll allows you to review the balance. I shall lead our forces into battle, my lord. So yeah, that's how you get past that bug. Just costs you a turn, but it's no big deal. When attacking an enemy, you have the option to assess the weather conditions. You could decide to attack immediately. To conquer England, William must first conquer the English capital, London. To be victorious in a siege battle, you must capture and hold the city's plaza or destroy the enemy army. Before you start the battle, you can position your troops for a more effective attack. First, deploy your ram in line with the enemy gate to expedite their attack. Select your ram and right-click on the highlighted position to deploy. You can now deploy your remaining units in the same way. When you now select your ram by selecting it on the battlefield or clicking on the unit card with the ram icon. When your ram is selected, move your mouse cursor over the enemy gate. So this is like on small unit scale or something. You can't adjust that. Well, that's fine, it doesn't matter. Oof, Huskarls. Mm, not a good idea. Ah, shit. Nah, let's do it. We got plenty of troops. We're fine. Doing things the stupid way. It's not really my style, but eh, we're fine. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. Our men have reached the gate with a battering ram. So yeah, once the ram's through, the cavalry will barge on in. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen! Well done! You have breached the enemy gates. To win the siege, you will need to take and hold the central plaza for three minutes. The plaza is the large stone square in the center of the city. When there are no enemy units in the plaza, your troops will have control and the victory timer will commence. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. To reach the enemy plaza, you must first fight through the enemy's troops on the streets. Once you have reached the plaza, kill all the enemy units and the victory timer will commence. Hold the plaza until the timer runs out to gain victory. Come on, charge him. Oh, they're on flaming shot, morons. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. We've lost a lot of men too. That's fine. It's just a tutorial thing. We've got plenty of troops. My lord, our men are in command of the city. We await your call. It's good. Anyone that runs back now, we've got them cut off. These things, these cocksuckers, they, um, they're partially on the wall, so we can't actually attack them. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. We've sent the base cur to hell. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Can't properly attack it. 
So you have to attack other units. Behold, there we go. Our this is a clear victory that goes to only men of. You have taken prisoners from your victorious battle and can now decide their fate. They did anyway. So the much dread lord somebody. and execute them, or the chivalrous knight and return their freedom. Such is the fate of all who oppose us. Victory! When you capture a settlement, you have the option to occupy, sack, or exterminate. Well done, my lord. England's great capital is now under Norman control. Double left click on London to bring up the settlement scroll. From this scroll, you can construct buildings, recruit troops, and manage your settlement. You have received a mission from to carry out your mission. Your church has been added to the construction queue and takes one. You can retrain units that have suffered losses in the same way. Click on the retrain tab and add your units to the recruitment. But they're not part of the recruitment your pool. Your units will be retrained to full complement. Yeah, they're wise. London is a city, which means it is a hub for trade and will generate your income. It is important. Now open Khan's settlement scroll and recruit some reinforcements there. Your units will take time to train. Press the end turn button. Can we get... Okay. Can I just keep moving? Yes. No, it's restricted. You have successfully completed your mission from the Pope. He now regards you more highly for complying with his wishes. This scroll shows us... As a Catholic nation, your relationship with the Pope and adherence to your religion are highly important. You should bear each faction standing with the Pope in mind during your dealings with those factions in future. <laughs> yeah, right. Fuck the Pope. Orders. Oh, hmm. The reinforcements that you trained in London are ready. Now is a good time to prepare an army to march on Nottingham. Click on London and select the units you wish to move out by holding down the control. Okay, they've got a, a half stack there, but why don't we just do things the, the Legend of Total War way, which is to say, when you have be selected a total the dick about it. To move out, right click on Nottingham to lay your siege. Remember that you need siege as you will have. Up. I'm not done yet. What have they got in there? Yeah, we'll kick their fucking ass. That's all I need. What? Can't do anything else? Orders. So, I don't know if they'll sally out during the end turn in this, but it'd be pretty funny if they do. Who do you want dead? Your assassin. This your assassin is Fuck waiting. Congratulations. <laughs> your assassin has delivered this man the fate that he deserved. Yeah. My liege, yeah. we must make a stand. We are besieged. The rebel army is assaulting Khan. We have a superior army and should sack it. As you will, Press my king. Press the end turn button to end your turn when you're ready. Well, shouldn't we go finish them off? Hail, my king. Order. As you command, my liege. <laughs> and Press the end turn button. Glorious victory. Sure. Sire. As we don't need. Hail my oh, I king. can't get him back over to to assist. Restricted areas. We can't go out that way. Uh, they didn't do it. Oh well. Orders, my king. Uh oh. They wish they'd never been born, sire. <laughs> Patiently awaiting. Tried to, to fuck him around. Hail my king, my lord. By your command. Joining forces. And I need reinforcements. Yes, I was just I was just going to see if I could do it that way. But no. Nope. Okay, what if I mean we can we can wait for seven turns, but that's not what you're supposed born, to do. What's their victory contribution goals? Nottingham London Cairn. Oh, okay. So we have to do a star of them out, really. I, I can't send reinforcements, it's not gonna let me. Hail my king. Yeah, I can't do anything. Your siege equipment has been constructed, and some I didn't build any siege to. Me, oh, okay, here we go. Orders, 
my lord. As you wish. What the hell? My king. Just gave me a bunch of catapults. Sire. Fine. Orders. Sire. My lord. By your command, William sire. is unable to move any further this turn. Press the end turn button and he can continue his journey next turn. Sire. Oh, good. Yes, sire. Yes, sire. Moving to crush the enemy. Yeah, we should be fine. Let's do this. There'll be no escaping us now. Attack! The last great obstacle between Duke William and the English throne is Nottingham Castle. Taking London was a glorious achievement for the Normans, but capturing Nottingham will prove a much sterner challenge. Before you attack with your siege equipment, send some of your infantry forwards to draw fire from the enemy archers and towers. <laughs> what? Otherwise, your valuable siege equipment will take the full force of the They can't reach us from here. Shut up, you're a moron. Fuck off. Use your Norman catapults to attack the castle towers. Get Otherwise fucked, alright? I know what I'm doing. Just go away. Sir, I think we should attack the thing that can't hit us. Go, 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 go back to military school, motherfucker. We're through. You have broken through the enemy defenses. Now you must storm the castle with your forces and make for the castle's main plaza. When you reach the plaza, defeat or rout all enemies there to take control of the castle. So, okay, what you gonna do to win the battle, right? You have to actually win the battle, right? It's alright, it's, it's just, it's like, obviously this this is designed for, for people who don't know how to play the game, obviously. But the problem is, is that I've played this game, I, I probably know this game better than anyone else on the planet Earth. And so when someone is like trying to tell me how to do something that is in any way contradictory to my actual thoughts that are going into my head, I just think, no, okay, no, you shut up, okay. I'm just wasting ammo here because it doesn't matter. We don't we don't really need to destroy the towers, but fuck it. I don't think we've got enough ammunition. That's okay. Stop, you guys. Come around over here. Man, that restricted camera is really getting on my nerves. It's annoying because, like, my units, maybe it's like restricted to my general, so. Is that correct? No. Oh, we did have a time there. Destroy this. What do you know? Yeah, definitely want to shoot those huskars. So this is going pretty well. Time's running out, but we got plenty of time. All right, let's go. All out attack. So what's holding us back here? Oh, 
Okay, good. Now we can, we can get through. Okay, if you could just stand close by, you should have enough dread, I think, that we can use to make these guys shit their pants. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, Sit, pull through it, making shit themselves. These husk girls. I really don't want to risk uh, William. That'd be pretty stupid of me to sacrifice him in a battle where we really don't need to use him at all. You guys just make your way towards the town square. I'm pretty sure after we've done this, that's the end of the campaign. Well, the tutorial is not really a campaign, is it? So, well, it's, it's the Norman com campaign. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the yes. enemy. Blast! You have taken control of the castle's main plaza. A countdown timer has appeared on the top right of the screen. Keep the plaza clear of enemies for three minutes, and you will win this siege. If your enemies gain a hold on the plaza, the countdown will stop, and you will need to remove them and start over. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. These guys here don't. Sent the base yeah, they're not getting properly off the walls. Yeah. All of Christendom will be awed. With King Harold defeated and London and Nottingham under your control, England is at your mercy. It is now up to you to lead England to war by expanding your empire to the rest of Europe and beyond. Would you like to continue to gain even glory, uh, even greater glory? Yes, please. Nope, not allowed. <laughs> Anyway, it's just a, just a bit of a, a short video for you guys with that one. Um, anyway, another thing I want to talk about just before we end the the, episode, uh, the video is in regard to the Standard Steel 6.4. A lot of people, uh, the Byzantine campaign, people have been asking me a lot about it lately. Um, okay, so I didn't think it would take this long to deal with it, but basically what's happened with episode 12 is it's recorded, it's ready to be released, but the problem is, is that it's it both got hit with a demonetization strike, and well, no, it's not a strike. It got demonetized straight away before I even released it, or put any tags or anything on it, and it got copyright claimed by a third party. So basically, I'm disputing that copyright claim because I think it's bullshit. And this should sometimes the the copyright claims get done by accident, and they're like. They get lifted straight away, but this company is like waiting. It's seemingly waiting for the maximum amount of time before they just release it, which means it could take another week or so more. But basically, the the stainless steel six point four episode twelve is on its way. But you're just gonna have to be patient in the meantime. So I just thought I'd give you a little bit of extra medieval two in the meantime. I do have more medieval two planned to do coming into December. It's just obviously, there's been a lot of stuff coming out with like Rome 2 and Total War Warhammer and that's that all that hype stuff is all coming to an, an end soon and then I can get back into my regular sort of campaigns of Rome 1 and Medieval 2 that I'm so sorely missing at the moment. But anyway, I'll see you next time, fuckers.